Enjoy all episodes of the RCWR Show on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. Interesting headline that I came across that I want to bring to you all's attention. I'm not sure if you all might be aware of this, as it is the 4th of July holiday weekend, and this literally had came right before the 4th of July holiday. You guys know Anthony Gumia from Opie and Anthony? Well, it looks like Anthony has been fired by Sirius XM for what is being described as some online racial rants that he had made earlier in the week. Now, in case you folks had missed it, Gumia had called a black woman a cunt animal for allegedly punching him in the face while he took some pictures of just random people down at Times Square in New York. He then went on Twitter and I saw a little bit of the exchanges that he had uh, expressing what all had came about. And I guess Sirius XM, they had caught wind of this and his now ex-bosses, they decided to fire him because the postings were deemed to be abhorrent and that his behavior is not consistent with what Sirius XM represents. Now, as it stands right now, it's not really known if the show is canceled or if Opie will be continuing on and he's going to get a new broadcast partner. Not really sure. And it's so fucked up when you hear this story, folks, because Opie and Anthony, they've been doing their thing together since 1995. As a matter of fact, just a couple of months ago, like around April, I believe, the guys had actually celebrated 20 years working together, being on the air and all that. So this couldn't come more at a crappy time right now. Anthony had this to say on Friday, uh, earlier today, actually. This is what he had to say, direct quote, We are living in a strange, backward world where people support the attacker and the victim is the victim. And he actually had managed to take a picture of the black woman that has supposedly assaulted him Right now, doesn't look like cops are involved, but Anthony did take a picture, so hopefully this will get people talking, and maybe we can see this woman get charged by Anthony, and then maybe we can learn a little bit more, but it just sounds so messed up what happened. I mean, I actually saw the number of things that Anthony had said about this incident and the way that he had described the woman, and to me, it did not come off racist at all. It didn't even come off sexist. It just really kind of came off like a guy who was very upset at the fact that there he was out in the open, in public, middle of Times Square, just minding his own business, taking pictures of random people. And somebody apparently did not want their picture taken. And they literally act like a savage. They act like an animal, whether or not this woman had kindly said to him, hey, I don't want my picture taken, and he insisted the matter, and he tried to take a picture anyway, and it just kept going back and forth like that, and she grew very agitated, irritated, whatever you want to call it, to the point that she assaulted him. We don't really know. All we know right now is what Anthony is saying, and I'm not saying Anthony is a liar, but at the same time, we only have one half of the story. It would be really cool to hear her side of the argument, and that way we could kind of really filter through all this. But for what it stands for right now, I actually have to side with Anthony. I think Sirius XM did not do this right. I mean, I can't help but think about the few times that I've checked out Opie and Anthony over the years. And I mean, those guys, they really fucking push the envelope. They really do. I mean, they were like right up there with Howard Stern. I mean, it's so funny too, because I can't talk about Opie and Anthony without talking about Howard Stern because I remember when Howard Stern was still on an FM radio and a lot of people were just in an uproar. I mean, you had a majority of folks that liked him and then you had that core significant group that did not want him on the FM airwaves and it seemed like every time you go around 
Stern was always dealing with the powers that be as far as FM radio. He always usually had to pay some type of fines or whatever. Always had to deal with a lot of headaches. And I remember finally when FM, they basically decided, you know, look, we don't really want to have anything to do with you. We're just going to cut you. And it kind of seemed like maybe Howard Stern's future in FM radio was done. Sirius XM comes along right when they were still putting all the pieces together. I mean, they came to Howard Stern at a great time. I mean, a lot of the shows that kind of fit into the same category as a Howard Stern, like Opie and Anthony and several others, they definitely owe it to Howard Stern because he literally had paved the way. So I might be a small fry over here. I may not have like 100K to almost a million downloads in a year or whatever like that. I do pretty respectable for my shows and the type of content that I cover on YouTube, but from one disc jockey to another, if you will, I'm so going in the side of Anthony, and honestly, I think Anthony's going to be able to bounce back from this without any problems. Honestly, if I'm podcast one right now, I'm actually going to be making a phone call to see if Anthony might be interested in doing a show uh, for that respected network. Because Podcast One, I mean, those guys have been picking up some serious talent. I mean, when was the last time you guys had went over there? I mean, we got the Steve Austin show. We got the Ross Report, Jim Ross. We got Talk is Jericho, Chris Jericho. We got Eddie Trunk, as Eddie Trunk is now going to be launching a new show on Podcast One. I believe Effective... July 10th. I mean, there's a ton of great talent that's over there. I would not be surprised if Anthony had took his talents over to Podcast One. Now, I could be reaching right here with what I'm getting ready to say, but I'm honestly getting the impression that the powers that be in Sirius XM probably just did not want to have anything to do with Opie and Anthony, and they were just trying to find some type of a way to maybe get rid of these guys. At least that's the kind of vibe that I'm picking up. I'm not really believing that somebody had got their panties in a bunch over this. This just really comes off like some type of a personal attack to Anthony. And, you know, if you're going to discipline somebody, I mean, why make such a drastic move like this and fire somebody? If anything, you should say to them, look, you're going to be suspended for the next two to three weeks and we're going to fine you, oh, $500,000 just to teach you a lesson. Next time, make sure that you think carefully before you post stuff on social media because ultimately it ties back to us. I can kind of maybe understand that argument, but SiriusXM, they did not even do that. And you just think about, for you longtime Opie and Anthony fans, you just think about over the past 20 years, some of the most raunchiest and I mean there has been situations where I know of where I've had friends that used to listen to Opie and Anthony they would get so fired up and really charged over one particular episode because it just really kind of hit a little bit too below the belt for them that they decided they weren't gonna listen anymore i mean for me personally one of the last times i actually had used to listen to them on a consistent basis is when they had interviewed mr it's still real to me damn it the kid that <laughs> said that infamous line while he was at a wrestling convention and i just remember how here this guy was on the phone with them and he's generally trying to have a nice conversation with them and let them know about his experience at that wrestling event, meeting with all of those Hall of Famers and just really taking in the moment. He's breaking it down to them. He's trying to basically let them know what led up to him saying that. And they were just making fun of him, all types of jokes. I remember he actually had hung up on them, not once, but twice. I think the second time they tried to call him back and they resumed. And I guess he just kind of played it off quietly or whatever like that. And the guy was smart. He knew he was being insulted, and he hung up, and I mean, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it was like, okay, this is 
kind of below the belt. This is a little messed up. That was like actually one of the last times that I listened to them because I just thought it was a little bit below the belt. Not to mention when it comes to wrestling and they usually talk about wrestling, they always belittle it. I mean, look, everybody's going to be a critic and it's one thing when you're able to kick back from a nice objective position where you're offering constructive criticism and all that you're talking about what didn't work but you're also offering ways on how things could have worked out but i mean these guys they really were just the way they kind of came off to me they really were fans of the wrestling industry it was kind of hard for me to tell because the few times that i checked them out and something wrestling related was going on they were always trashing it and, I mean, they were trashing it like it was just so bad. It's like, why the hell are you guys even watching if it's that brutally bad, you know? But despite all that, you just add up a lot of the things that they said over the years. It's nothing compared to what Anthony had put out there on social media. You know, at the same time, it kind of goes back to something that I've been saying off and on the past several years because we've seen so many other celebrities get in trouble for something that they're saying on social media i mean you just go down the list i'm sure if you do your own homework you'll definitely be able to come across people that have a long unfortunate bad history with social media it just goes to show you that you have to be careful what you say and how you say it even if you have your own respected twitter account or facebook or youtube it just has a weird way of coming back and if it's a situation where you have a lot of sponsors that you're working with brand affiliates or whatever and they kind of get wind of that and they don't really want to be putting their money into you and they don't really want to be backing their money with you they want to back it somebody else because they don't like the way that you're saying certain things you gotta watch it you know but at the same time i still have to side with anthony i don't really think this man did anything wrong and it's just unfortunate that this crap had happened and i mean that from the bottom of my heart and some people that may be hearing this for the first time and you're not familiar with me you're not familiar with our channel i'm african-american and let me just say that i am happily involved in a interracial relationship my soon-to-be wife is caucasian and honestly i really mean when i say i don't think anthony did anything wrong no doubt there's probably going to be a serious backlash from serious xm subscribers especially those that maybe are paying Sirius XM just to be getting Opie and Anthony. I have a feeling that they're probably going to show their ultimate support, take their time and their money, and basically go follow Anthony and hopefully Opie. You know, hopefully they'll still do this maybe with Podcast One or maybe whatever man i don't know but i have a serious feeling that there's going to be a serious backlash as a result of this my how the times have changed though i mean seriously and we should note that anthony has had this little knickknack the past several weeks of messing around with a few gadgets one of them has been a camera that he's got and that's why he was down there at times square taking photographs when this woman had assaulted him anthony actually had a gun on him as he is licensed to carry a weapon so just imagine if this would have ended up being a situation like Trayvon Martin as Anthony would have been within his right to basically light this woman up but he did not go that route so I mean this story could have ended in an entirely different way but he refrained himself he maintained his composure as best as he could he did not go for that gun and instead he just fought her back verbally and also tried to ward off the attacks and everything and instead of just taking out any type of physical retaliation against her in any type of form he decides to just vent about it on social media and again, it all just really comes back to be careful with what you say on social media because it just has a weird way of coming back and kicking you in the ass. I mean, look at what was going on with Jonah Hill, Hank Williams Jr., 
If you really want to get technical, you can throw Donald Sterling in there. You can definitely throw Mel Gibson in there. But we should point out, Anthony never did say the N-word. But some people may jump onto that and may say, you know what? This guy has been racist for many, many years now. This was bound to happen sooner or later. It was going to blow up in his face. Don't feel sorry for him whatsoever. And you know what? That's your prerogative. All I'm doing is stating the current facts as it stands right now. And honestly, it really depends on Anthony. I mean, if he gets the right type of lawyers, he can actually fight Sirius XM. And this may be settled out of court where he gets a pretty hefty paycheck. That's if he really wants to stick it to them. Or he could just quietly say, you know what, Sirius XM fuck you i'm gonna go on ahead take my ball and go elsewhere and you know what that is his right but this is really a true question a true debate that we need to be having amongst ourselves which is the whole right to basically speak your mind speak your peace you know now it just kind of feels like we live in this day and age where we really have to second guess a lot of the things that we're saying on social media i mean hell man heaven forbid you did something inappropriate or you said something that was inappropriate from a couple of years ago and it's there on social media and it can be found it's gonna come back and it can cost you your livelihood. It can cost you your roof over your head. It can cost you your job. I mean, you name it. So it's very unfortunate these times that we live in. But I mean, ah, you know, it's, it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a delicate situation. I will say that. And about that whole taking pictures of people in public and all that, you guys may not be too keen on that. But that's legal in practically every single state. I mean, I definitely have a photography background. Hell, I used to be a, a established photographer for a lot of years, did various assignments. And one of the main things that I used to love doing on weekends was going to my nearby mall. In this case, I used to love going to the mall in Georgetown in Northwest D.C. And I would just be kicking back. I'd be taking pictures of all the pretty women that would go by or I would take pictures of some nice statues or just kind of catch people kind of caught off guard because for me with that whole keen eye that I have in photography that's really the best time to take pictures of folks is when you kind of catch them out of their element when they're not really prepared to pose for a photograph I would also do assignments where I would take pictures of the outdoors wilderness animals things of that nature so as much as some of you all may not like that it was within his right he was out in public it was okay for him to take pictures and honestly if somebody had said to him hey i don't really appreciate you taking my picture at that point it really would have been up to him to go okay no problem sorry about that i won't take any pictures anymore sorry sorry or he could have put his foot down and said, hey, it's my right to, and you know what? It would have been that person's right to decide whether or not they want to continue to go back and forth with him or just turn around, go in an opposite direction. But it's legal in practically almost every single state to take photographs, film people out in the public. Nothing you can really do about that, folks. What do you guys think about this, especially you longtime Opie and Anthony fans? I definitely want to hear from you guys. Sign off, post your comments down below. Let me know what you all have to say with regards to this. If you disagree with anything that I've said, feel free to post your comment down below. I mean, it's okay to disagree, but definitely go out of your way to post a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this matter, and we'll definitely follow up on what you all have to say on a future episode of the RCWR Show once we've gathered enough feedback from you guys. And hey, if it's your first time checking us out, I'd love to have you subscribe to us so that you never miss out on all the great content that we do for you here on a weekly basis. Whether it's breaking news, giving you guys some great reviews, or doing some really insightful interviews. We do a little bit of everything here on our channel. So do go out of your way to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give this piece a thumbs up. And you can share this a number of ways. You can Facebook it, retweet it, 
one of the many ways you can spread the good word about our content. Let's see if we can get at least 100 likes for this excerpt. Can we do that, guys? Come on, let's see if we could do that. Till next go round, I'm wishing all of you all to be safe and be kind to one another. Everybody, take care.